now that we've conquered how to solve word problems involving one triangle, we're going to look at how to do it when it involves two triangles. The first steps are the same. We're going to draw and label a diagram showing the information I'm given. But now I'm going to identify two triangles that can be used to solve a problem and plan how to use each triangle. Basically, normally this means we're either going to add or subtract two values in the triangle. That's kind of the general thing. Not every time. And we solve and then make our conclusion. So let's look at this first problem. Two students want to de determine the heights of two buildings and they stand on the top of a shorter building. So I have a short building and I have a tall building. They use something called a clinometer. That's what um, you can get an angle of elevation and angle depression from. And the angle of elevation to the top of the taller building is 44 degrees. So remember, an angle of elevation, angle of depression are always from a horizontal. So that's saying looking up from the horizontal is 44 degrees. From the same position, the angle of depression is 53 degrees. So once again, that needs to come from the horizontal. And the angle attached to the horizontal is right there, 53 degrees. The horizontal distance between the buildings is 18 meters. So that means this side is 18. So hopefully you can see that I have two triangles. I have this red triangle and the 18, and then I have my blue triangle and also that 18. And it says, how tall is each building? So height, my total height of my tall building is going to be this entire length. So how could I get that? I could do, I'm going to call the top of the red triangle x and the blue triangle y. And what I'm going to end up doing is add x plus y. So I have two baby triangles. I'm going to find both of those heights and then add them together. So in my first equation, I have tangent, so tangent 44 degrees equals x over 18. So 18 times tangent 44. Tangent 44 is 0.966. And then we multiply by 18 on both sides. And I get 17.4. Then when I solve the next triangle, I have tangent of 53 degrees equals y over 18. Tangent of 53 is 1.327. and multiply that by 18 and we get 23.9. So now we need to answer our question. So our question is how tall is each building? So my short building, notice your short building is going to be the same as y. So y was 23.9 And our unit is meters. And our tall building is x plus y. So I'm going to add 17.4 plus 23.9. And I get 41.3 meters. I'm going to skip the next problem and go to the back. From the top of a building 21 meters tall, the angle of elevation of the top of the taller building is 56, and the angle of depression of the base of the taller building is 51, what is the height of the taller building? 
So this is a similar type of problem. We have short building, tall building. But this time it gives me that the height of the short building is 21. We're going to look up at the top of the other building and its angle of elevation is 46 degrees. Angle of depression is 51 degrees. So if I want to know what the height of the tall building is, I need this entire height. But right now if I look at the red triangle in the top, I only have one piece of information. So I can't do anything in the top triangle yet. I need to get another side in order to do something. The blue triangle, it looks like I just have 51, but I actually have that its height is 21 because it's the same height as the short building. So I'm gonna look at that triangle first. So I know this is 21 and this is 51 degrees. Now I have two other sides. The side that's gonna be most helpful is gonna be this horizontal side because the horizontal side is also a part of the red triangle. So I'm gonna solve this. So I have tangent 51 degrees equals 21 over x. So 1.235 equals 21 over x. Multiply by x and divide both sides by 1.235 and I get 17. So this horizontal side in the red triangle we now know is 17. So if I draw that triangle, And now I'm talking about height, so I'm going to call that y. I need to find that height. So tangent 46 degrees equals y over 17. 1.036. Multiply both sides by 17. So y equals 17.6. So that's the top part of the tall building, but the bottom part of the tall building is 21. So 17.6 plus 21 equals 38.6 meters. So this one uh, should have a picture, so I'm going to draw the picture real quick. But most of the time, you're not going to have um, a picture for this type of problem. All right, Sean wishes to find the length of a pole CD, which is on the roof of a building. So you have, I call this the tall object on a building problem. It's a pole, it's a smokestack, anything like that. The angles of elevation of C and D are 28 and 40. Usually it won't give you a diagram, it's just going to give you um, this horizontal distance is 40 and then give you the two angle of elevations. So the lower angle of elevation is always going to the bottom. So that would be 28. And then I have a higher angle of elevation going to C. What's important is that you see that that 40 is going from the bottom, the horizontal, up to the top. It's not in that little sliver. Um, it's counting for the whole angle. So maybe you can see this one I have overlapping triangles, so it's different than the first two problems. Here's my first triangle. It has 28 degrees and 40. And then I have my bigger triangle Still has a base of 40, but now my angle is 40 degrees. And what I'm going to do is take this big 
height for my blue, I'll call it x, and subtract from it y, the height of my small triangle, and that will leave me with just the pole that's on the top. So instead of the first problem where we added the two values I'm solving for, I'm going to subtract them. So in my red triangle, I have tangent 28 degrees equals y over 40. Point five three two equals y over 40 multiply by 40 on both sides blue one tangent 40 degrees equals x over 40 0.839 equals x over 40 so x equals 33.6 meters, and we're going to subtract. And that gives us 12.3. Last one is when you have two observers looking at the same object. So this one, you have a cliff and you have a person who's observing it at point A. So you have one person and a second person. It tells me the height of the cliff is 80. And then basically I'm going to have these two angle of elevations going up. So the trouble is figuring out which is which. So the closer you get to the cliff, the higher your angle is. So this one with an angle of 45 is going to be closer than the one at 30. And maybe you can see my two triangles. Here's my first triangle. So 80, 45, and then my bigger triangle. be 80 and 30 degrees. And this one wants to know what's the distance between A and B, aka what's the difference distance between these two people. So what we're going to do is do our big length, I'll call it x, minus our small length, I'll call y. So another problem involving subtraction. So now I've solved those two triangles for the horizontal side, and my last step is going to be to subtract them, 138.6 minus 80, which gives me 58.6 meters.